assalamu alaikum dear students welcome back to the online mode of learning i am mehfara nadeem and uh, we are going to study chapter number 5 today that is human resource planning we have already studied chapter 4 that was the evolving strategic role of uh, human resource management and now today we are going to study human resource planning this class is for bpa eighth evening so let's just get started with chapter number 5 uh basically this chapter is all about human resource planning so what is human resource planning first of all i would like to define it uh, human resource planning basically comes under the head of human resource management strategy so it is the first component of human resource management basically our human resource planning is the first component of human resource management strategy all other functional hr activities uh, such as staffing training performance management or compensation or we can say labor relations are derived and flow from human resource planning processes it means that this human resource planning process is a component through which all activities such as staffing training performance management it is basically driving from the uh, component of human resource planning process so uh, when understanding human resource planning the organizations consider uh, the implications of its future plans on the nature of uh, in of uh, individuals or uh, or it will need to employ the necessary skills and trainings that they will require so basically uh, the human resource planning is proactive process uh, it attempts to plan and anticipate what might happen in the various domains of the organizational internal and external environment and to develop plans to address these events prior to their actual happenings so basically it has internal and external focus it is proactive in the, in um, nature and uh, all other functional human resource activities are derived from human resource planning processes uh, moving forward uh, i would uh, like to further explain it that human resource planning basically goes far beyond simple hiring and firing it is not just hiring and firing human resource planning is not just hiring and firing uh, it involves planning for the development of human capital in the most effective and efficient manner also uh, we should know that um, our human resource planning is in line with organizational business strategy it means that our human resource planning is in line with the organizational uh, or business strategy so it may involve the reassignments of employees it may involve the training and development of employees or we can say that which department to outsource we should know in a proactive manner also uh, we should know uh, whether uh, we need to temporarily use some help or some we need to acquire some outside contractors so there need there has to be the flexibility as much as possible in human resource planning so uh, that was all about the definition of human resource planning uh, that what is human resource planning moving forward uh, we are going to discuss some key objectives of human resource planning okay 
there are basically five uh, human resource key objectives human resource planning key objectives first is the uh, to prevent overstaffing and understaffing second is to ensure the organization has the right employees with the right skills in the right places at the right times third is to ensure the organization is responsive to change in its environment uh, in which uh, an organization is working fourth is to provide direction and coherence to all hr activities and systems fifth one is the um, is to unite the perspectives of all managers whether they are line managers or, or staff managers so uh one by one i'm going to discuss uh, i'm going to uh, explain uh, to you these objectives so uh the first uh, objective uh, is to prevent overstaffing and understaffing we all know that when an organization has too many employees it experiences a loss of efficiency in operations because of excessive payrolls or uh, we can say that because of excessive or surplus productions uh, that definitely uh, cannot be marketed so uh, in case we need to avoid or prevent overstaffing also we need to uh, prevent understaffing because having too few employees results in lost sales revenues because the organization is unable to satisfy uh, the existing demand of the customer so that is the why we need to avoid or prevent overstaffing and understaffing moving forward to the second objective the second objective is to ensure that the organizations has the right employees with the right skills or we can say with the right capacities or with the right uh, uh, with the right competencies in the right places at the right time uh, why because we know that organizations need to anticipate the kinds of employees they need in terms of skills competencies or in work habits or in personal characteristics so that the best employees have been hired and these best employees are fully trained and prepared to deliver performance exactly in the way the organization needs them okay what is the third objective moving forward to the third objective that is ensuring organization is responsive to changes in its environment okay uh, the third objective is to ensure the organization is responsive to changes in environment it means that the human resource planning processes uh, basically requires decision makers to consider a variety of scenarios relative to the numerous domains in the environment it means that we need our employees to be the decision makers and to work in different scenarios in different domains uh, uh living in an environment so uh, we need to anticipate and plan for any possible changes rather than passively uh, reacting to such conditions that can allow the organization to step ahead uh, of its competitor competitors okay that was the third objective moving forward to the fourth objective fourth objective is to provide the direction and coherence to all hr activity and systems basically the the human resource uh, uh planning uh, sets the direction for all other human resource functions basically human resource planning is the first step that directs or uh, that sets the direction for all other human human resource functions such as staffing such as training such as develop training and development such as performance measurement and compensation so it is the first step that basically directs all other human resource activities uh moving forward to the fifth objective fifth objective is that um, 
to unite the perspectives of line managers and staff managers. Uh, human resource planning is usually initiated and managed by corporate human resource staff. Basically, it requires the inputs and corporations of all managers, whether they are line managers, whether they are, whether they are staff managers. Basically, it requires the input of all managers within the organization. So, uh, so uh, that was uh, the fifth objective and uh, these all uh, human resource objectives uh, uh, we can see here. Um, set uh, the objectives of uh, the planning processes so uh, moving forward we have some types of planning and we have uh, some uh, uh, some uh, some other plannings to discuss in this chapter that we will discuss in the next lecture for today uh, i guess this was enough there there are some cases uh, as you all know that we are following Jeffrey A. Mello, Mello book and by now I assume that all of you have this book available for, uh, with you. So uh, at page number 202 and 203 uh, there are some cases given to at page number 203 there is a page there is a case of human resource planning at uh, Drelex Heritage Furnishings and uh, there is a case of human resource management at the United States Postal Service. I would like all of you to go through and um, I need an uh, assignment. I uh, need an assignment uh, in which uh, you have discussed these two cases. Uh, I need you to make a draft and send me as soon as possible on my email. All of you have my email available. Uh, so uh, or maybe uh, you can uh, consult your CR for that and get back to me uh, uh, previous uh, assignment still I haven't got any from you guys I need to have these two assignments as soon as possible uh, so that I can mark your I will be able to mark your fashionals um, uh, so you guys need to go through these two cases as well as soon as possible I need uh, these case the assignment of uh, these cases as well uh, further we are going to study the types of planning aggregate planning and succession planning in the next lecture that was all for today uh, any question and query you're going to ask me on my words uh, whatsapp group uh, and you are most w welcome to ask me any question uh, any time on whatsapp group available thank you so much uh, students